Hey guys, Pruls here, and I feel like I've played enough Borderlands now that I can kind of give a uh, thought out opinion on the game. And so, went into the game expecting a lot of what I did in Borderlands 1, but I'll be honest, I, I think it's a much more fun game, and that's not to say I didn't have uh, just a really good time playing the original, but Borderlands 2, man, it just, the, the campaign is hilarious the characters are incredibly well written I really feel like I'm straight up playing in a movie when I'm playing this game like I just get lost in it for a couple of hours at a time before I try and look up at the clock I've been playing mostly alone I've probably done like two-thirds of the game by myself and the rest in co-op but to my surprise I mean I'm having a lot of fun even when I'm just rolling solo and that was definitely not the case for the original Borderlands if I was not playing with my friends I just wanted to fucking shoot myself because the world is just really big and like you know I think this is even a thing in Borderlands 2 where there's a lot of travel time and there are times where you just kind of wish you were playing with a buddy of yours and you know getting a chance to talk with them maybe about the game or whatever the next thing is you're gonna do because yeah, the storyline's really cool and everything, but there are times where I feel like, you know, I'm like, God damn it, like I'm just, it's such a trek to the next part of a map. But that's kind of another thing that engrosses me into this world, is just the vast kind of, this huge size of Borderlands. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's much bigger in the second game, and the visuals are just amazing. Like, I'm lucky to be able to play the game at max settings. And I actually have AMD cards, which means I don't have PhysX, so I mean, I can't even imagine how much better the game would look with PhysX. What I may actually do is figure out getting, because I crossfire two cards, I'm going to see if I can get an NVIDIA GPU and get physics running while using my AMD cards, because apparently this is possible with some games. And I would probably post some before and after footage and just kind of give you guys an idea of how, how yeah, much kind of sucks that, that makes being an AMD user you do get shaft when it comes to Nvidia based games that support physics but I'm hearing that there's a lot of problems with physics compatibility on some computers like it just really destroys your performance I know a bunch of people actually who have it off while they game because they don't have a strong enough card and if they leave physics on they just get really bad performance so not too worried about that I mean the game still looks great it runs really well it's pretty goddamn optimized the first game was you know it was alright but it was uh, a pretty much straight up console port in regards to the co-op now the matchmaking system is pretty good there's a server list you can look up just the whole, the functionality is really, really clean. I mean, it was such a pain in the ass to join up with other people on Borderlands. Uh, at least on the PC version. I had played it on the Xbox as well, and it didn't seem to have that much of a problem with playing with others. But um, playing with your friends is incredibly easy. Another pleasant surprise in this game is, I would say, the voiceover IP. I know not too many people use that, as a lot of us have... Skype, Mumble, Ventrilo, TeamSpeak, or whatever, but when I'm playing with random people, I mean, a lot of them do have mics, and I'm like, you know, I'll just ask if they happen to have it in or whatever. I think the hotkey is T for it, but yeah, it sounds really great. I mean, I feel like there's just so much more I can rave about when it comes to this game. The audio is amazing, the music is amazing. Like I've been saying, the art is just really good. The, the characters, the story, all of it is just really like nothing I've ever seen in another video game and th this is coming from a guy who for many years I've just been avoiding a lot of single-player stuff I mean since Half-Life 2 I just haven't had uh, you know a super memorable experience with any kind of shooter involving uh, an important campaign or anything like that so this was a nice change in pace I really hope you guys check it out if you haven't already if you're a fan of RPGs, if you're a fan of shooters, you're really going to like this game. And if you're like me and you're a fan of both, then it's really fucking hard for me to pull myself away from this. There's a lot of dungeon crawlers and stuff that I'm into, and of course my background is almost all in shooters. So this game is really just, you know, the perfect change of pace, and it's, it's a nice break from the modern combat shooters and futuristic stuff we've always got going on. 
So I hope you guys enjoy the footage and stuff. Uh, I may be uploading some more Borderlands in the future. Just, you know, I kind of want to come up with something a little more interesting than uh, Let's Plays and stuff. Maybe if I come up with some tips and suggestions, I'll make sure to post them. And if you guys have anything to suggest, just, you know, go ahead and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.